biomedical image processing course in this module we will see automated microneurism detection techniques for screening process microneurism are small secular bulbs in the walls of the retinal capillary vessels although most commonly found in diabetic retinopathy microneurism may also occur in other retinopathies such as various congenital vascular abnormalities the pathologies of microneurism is not completely understood but damage to capillary pericytes is thought to be a factor for the research as the retinal capillaries are too small to be resolved by normal fundus photography techniques microneurism are classically described as distinct small round objects ranging from 10 micrometer to 100 micrometer in the diameter of the microneurism in color fundus images they appear red and in red free images they appear dark with fluorescent angiography microneurisms are hyperfluorescent thus appear as bright dots in positive images so these are certain appearance of microneurism and using their appropriate color model we can easily detect them and classify them in practice the appearance of microneurism can deviate somewhat from the classical description they may appear in association with larger vessels or as a conglomeration of more than one microneurism together microneurism are difficult to distinguish from dot hemorrhages in color retinal images which we capture through normal fundus camera dot hemorrhages appear as bright red dots the size of large microneurism and rarely exceed 200 micrometer in their diameter as the clinical implication of the presence of dot hemorrhages and microneurism are sufficiently similar there is usually no need for an automated microneurism detector to distinguish them from each other microneurism are better visualized with fluorescent angiography with more microneurism visible than in color fundus images better descript better discrimination between microneurism and dot hemorrhages is also achieved as dot hemorrhages tend to block out the background choroidal fluorescence and appear hypofluorescent in the images nevertheless other features such as retinal pigment epithelium defects and capillaries seen end on can appear similar to microneurism and some care is needed when identifying such individual microneurism from the fundus images microneurism are often first sign of diabetic retinopathy a positive correlation between the number of microneurism and the severity and likely progression of diabetic retinopathy has been demonstrated at least for the early stage of the disease diagnostics process microneurism formation and regression is a dynamic process with over half of the microneurism population observed to either form or regress within a 12 month period of the time while detecting the diagnosis process there is evidence that the turnover of microneurism in addition to absolute count 
is a predictor of retinopathy and by using this clue one can go with making system automated to diagnose them as microneurism are reasonably easy to describe are a well visualized target and their numbers have defi definite clinical implication they were one of the first legion selected for automated image analysis system early attempts focused on the detection of microneurism in fluorescent angiography images where the better visualized lesions as fluorescent angiography poses an unsuitable health risk for eye screening and color digital camera technology has advanced sufficiently there is now a move to perform automated microneurism detection on color fundus images as an adjunct to automated eye screening that we perform for the population now let us see history of automated microneurism detection in the following an overview of historical development of automated microneurism detection we will see one by one number one is early morphological approaches the first attempt at automated microneurism detection date back to the early 1980s and where on fluorescent angiographic images lay and his team described morphological approach used for the detection of microneurism in the fundus images image resolution and dynamic range were low 256 by 256 pixel with 100 gray levels however by using an imaging microscope to digitize film negatives the digital image covered a small field of view of the macula so that microneurism were well resolved in such specification and negatives were used the microneurism appeared as dark dots thus as localized minima in the intensity image a top hat transform was applied to identify the local minima present in those images vessels were identified with the skeletonization of a further top hat transform using a linear structuring element at various orientation and any local minima lying on vessels were eliminated as the lesions called microneurism 10 angiographic images containing a total of 177 microneurism were analyzed both by clinician and the automated microneurism detector system the automated microneurism detector achieved 58% sensitivity with 4.2 false detections per image for detecting and locating microneurism this process was extended by budon and his team with extra morphological processing to remove false detection such as objects too small to be microneurism in this study 25 retinal images centered on the macula containing total of 936 microneurism lesions were analyzed both by clinician and automated processing system the automated microneurism detector achieved 70% sensitivity for detecting and locating microneurism with 4.4 false detection per images spencer and their group used match filtering to detect microneurism and to remove false detection on vessels 
in angiographic images of the retinal capture during the process of mass screening film negatives of the macula were projected onto a screen and digitized with monochrome ccd camera at 512 by 512 pixel resolution pre processing included radiometric correction for the illumination of the negatives and subtractive said correction to remove the choroidal fluorescen present in the images microneurism were identified by match filtering with circulatory symmetric two dimensional gaussian where value of s is equal to 1 pixel and a mask of size 5 by 5 pixel vessels were identified by match filtering with a mask size of 5 by 5 pixel and s is equal to 2 pixel and extra shape analysis to identify long linearly structure present in those images any microneurism detected on the vessel network were removed testing was performed on six fluorescent angiographic images five clinician also mark the position of microneurism on both the digitized images and on standard photographs made from the film negative the automated detection performed almost as well as the clinician working on the digitized images however the clinician working on the digitized images perform poorly compared to the clinician working on the photographs it was concluded that digitized image resolution was insufficient for reliable on microneurism detection in response to the limits of the morphological processing developed by budon and its team and of the matched filter approach of spencer and his group researcher at aberdeen university scotland developed the image processing strategy for detection of mass into what we shall call the standard approach of automated microneurism detection system this approach has since been adopted and enhanced by researchers not only at aberdeen university but also by number of other groups the standard approach is described in the following successive slide image and illustrated in detail in figure 6.1 this figure shows the flow diagram of standard approach to detection of microneurism it has various set of features by following those features it is easily able to find the microneurism first digitized retinal images are said corrected to even up the background illumination of retinal image said correction is normally performed by creating an image of the background illumination often illuminated by gross median or mean filtering of the retinal image the background image is either subtracted from or divided into the retinal image on fluorescent angiographic images subtractive said correction is normally performed to remove choroidal background fluorescent as the choroidal illumination as in additive process microneurism detection on color retinal images is based with divisive said correction as intensity shading is mainly due to changing reflectance of the retina a multiplicative process can also followed while detecting 
such microneurism from the fundus images. In the standard approach, match filtered with circulatory symmetry 2D Gaussian as the kernel is used to highlight microneurism of the fundus image. But this process tends to fall detection on the vessels. Vessels are therefore first detected by the morphological opening of the said corrected retinal image by long linear structuring element that is rotated to various angle to pick up all vessel segments which are currently present on the images. Length of the structuring element is chosen to be short enough to fit inside curved vessel and long enough that it cannot fit inside microneurism so that it detects vessel and other large extended features but not detect any microneurism currently present. The detected vessels are then subtracted from the said corrected retinal image to effect a top hat transform. The resultant image contains small objects such as microneurism and also in practice small objects left over from the vessels such as boli of fluorescent if angiographic images are used for the process. The top hat transform image is thresholded to detect likely microneurism which we refer to as the candidates. One could terminate the process at this stage and take all candidates as detected microneurism. However, it is normally found that an acceptable sensitivity leads to an unacceptable specificity while checking performance. Therefore, the candidates location are used to initiate region growing on the said corrected retinal image to delineate the underlying morphology of the candidate lesion features. Shape and intensity features are measured on the region grown object and a classifier is used to refine microneurism detection. A much better specificity can then be achieved with very little loss in the sensitivity of the result. Because the candidates are region grown, this method typically cannot detect microneurism attached to the vessel lesion in the images. This approach was first described by Spencer and his group who tested the process on fluorescent angiographic film negative digitized at a resolution of 1024 by 1024 pixel which cover 35 degree field of view at macula in the images. The pre-processing included illumination correction to correct for vaginating incurred in the digitization. The Toffet transform used a linear structuring element 11 pixel long rotated to 8 orientation. The match filter kernel of size 11 by 11 pixel was a two dimensional circulatory symmetric Gaussian width equal to 1 pixel. Once candidate microneurism are region grown simple shape features like area, perimeter, aspect ratio and complexity and intensity measures mean intensity of object form the input to a rule based classifier which may give good result of the classification of microneurism. Five ophthalmologists mark the position of microneurism on four high quality photographic prints of the retinal images. 
the automated computer detection of microaneurysm on the four images was compared against the clinician. The computer satisfactorily matched the response of the clinician on a free response receiver operating characteristics that we may call ROC graph used for performance measurement. This is the first reported use of an automated detection of microneurism that compared favorably with clinician. Note that the automated microneurism detector performed well compared to clinician using photographic prints. Thus, the problem of poor digital resolution of their earlier study was resolved by following the resolution improvement. Nevertheless, test is of limited generalized as only four independent images were used and the total number of microneurysm present in the images used are not reported. Further, improvements to the Aberdeen automated microneurysm detector were made by Gree and its team. The region growing algorithm was made computationally efficient and the classifier was redesigned. Extra features using intensities of candidate microneurysm normalized intra and interimage were added as was the peak response of the match filter that mark an object as the region of interest in our case called candidate microneurism. Comparison of the manually constructed rule based classifier with two machine learning approaches, linear discriminant analysis and a neural network found that the manually constructed rule based classifier provided the best result. Cree and his group also reported an automated method to detect the fovea based on Fourier space correlation of a model of the gross shading of the fovea against a low pass filtered version of the retinal images. Thus, the whole process of microneurism detection and counting including locating the region of interest centered on the fovea was fully automated and it gives good satisfactory result. The improved Aberdeen automated microneurism detector for detection of microneurism in fluorescent angiographic images was trained on 64 retinal images and tested against an independent test set of 20 retinal images of size 1024 by 1024 pixel resolution of 35 degree field of view of the macula. The location of microneurism in the test images were established by conscious decision by a clinician and medical physicist using computer program that enabled microneurism to be highlighted on the screen by mouse click. The test set contained 297 true microneurism and the microneurism detector achieved a sensitivity of 82% for detecting and correctly locating microneurism at 5.7 false positives per images. Microneurism detection performed by four independent clinicians on the same 20 set images achieved the same sensitivity at 3.2 false positive per images. As the free regions ROC curve of the automated detector 
was close to that of the independent clinician it was concluded that computer system can reliably detect all lesions which are belongs to the category of microneurism due to the increased number of images and the various stages of retinopathy used in this study this conclusion is more secure than that of spencer and their group with this the automated microneurism detection for screening is to be concluded over here and we have begins with characterizing microneurism and dot hemorrhages we have also seen history of automated microneurism detection early morphological approaches standard approach to automate microneurism detection in next successive module we will see the extensive of the standard approach for automation of microneurism detection thank you thank you very much